Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we've got the best of the best here in EMEA. We've got SK versus Humble in the grand final. I'd say that there's been some twists in the EMEA region so far, but it's the first monthly final of the year. And of course, it's our home region. So I love covering this on the channel. So make sure to subscribe for future competitive content. Literally, the best way to learn and improve in Brawl Stars is to watch the pros, watch how they draft and how they react to certain scenarios. So just quickly before we get to the game though, we've got something important to showcase so let's see if we can rewind back in time and there you have it literally milk hank was inside of the monthly finals like that just goes to show how broken this brawler is he may have lost we, we won't really show much more than that because in our minds that that counts as a win right as long as he made some type of appearance again it didn't really work out too much i've not really seen hank in hideout but maybe i'm going to give it a try in streams and people can stop saying that milk hank is terrible he's got to be one of the best brawlers in the game so we've got new horizons here we've got knockout we've got sk versus humble so in terms of the draft then you can literally see it's going to be a lot of cheese new horizons there's a lot of like buster sprout bush camping we see buster's finally banned out for the longest time buster was never banned out we have a kit who kit is, like i told you guys kit on bounty knockout is a really strong brawler pair that with pearl really good overall charlie's just good into everything the draft is just going by so fast i can't even like try and picture what could go cordelius i'd say I think they've gone Cordelius to counter kit, which is definitely a good shutdown. We've got two great counters to kit uh, with Charlie and Cordelius. It's just the two best. And then we have a Larry and Laurie. And then we have a Sprout. So we have Sword of Bands as well. We didn't even have time to really digest it all. But in terms of composition, I'm just trying to think. I feel like Humble might just have the better composition. Mainly because... You can put Kit on top of Pearl. And then there's two throws on this map. Throws on this map just dominate. You can see here that it should be able to kill Joker. He's pretty much one shot. Oh, Joker with a really clutch Cordelia's super there. But like I said, you're getting that little pocket. Either side, left side, right side. You're going to be doing pretty good. Again, SK can win this with good communication. But I feel like it's going to be tough. The longer the game goes on, the better, it, well, the more easier it's going to be. Smite is going to go in here on Joker. Oh, he misses out on the jump. That could be a devastating, devastating error. But looks like we're not going to push it, really. This is pretty good map positioning from SK so far, though. All of them are in the middle. And try to push them back towards the gas as much as possible. But boss, he pops his gadget, completely misses it. Smite is going to get the kill onto Joker. Get the super onto Lana as well. Not too sure what is going on here. The gadget pull from Lana. And somehow, they've managed to like swing around a scenario i didn't even think was possible that's a really clever gadget from uh lana for sure because you know, normally people use the spider gadget right but it's not much value with spider gadget here the other gadget i don't even know what it's called but it gives you extra healing extra survivability pretty good on bounty and knockout for sure we can see the bands here then so interesting uh in terms of like gene angelo bus so they're of course like the best picks if they of course were banned first and then brooks good to break open maps ticks cheesy and megs just really good on this map we see a good super from lanada being able to get boss down and that's going to be the kill lukey really needs to find that kill onto yoshi somehow he doesn't find it though and then lana again with the super i mean with the gadget that's insane this is this is crazy gameplay like surely both of those guys look done and dusted but that's really yeah that's gonna bite him lukey could have finished off that kill it was unfortunate i mean it could have been a good play from yoshi as well in a 1v3 in this scenario it is not paying off so little do i know about the pro draft i mean sk did play that really well i felt like humble should have won that with some f a few errors they can definitely clean that up and go into the next one so in terms of what i predicted i predicted zeta to win this whole thing mainly because of world champs but then again there is kind of like a little bit of a curse when it comes down to world champions in multiple esports titles. Normally, the first time they go back, maybe they get a bit too complacent. Maybe they get kind of like an ego check. You know, I've been through that myself. I've seen it happen in lots of esports I've watched. And then the second month, they kind of come back firing. So we'll probably see more of Zeta next month. But in EMEA, the beauty of it, literally every single team is amazing. Again, Joker gets out with his life. Lenar. He's got a gadget in time, but I think he will die once he respawns. Yeah, but Joker gets a great kill. I mean, this guy on Cordelius is insane. He's man he manages to get a trade every single time. That's what makes good players in Bounty knockout. You know, you can go down in knockout, but then if your teammate 
then it gets the kill back, you know, it's a good trade. That's just simple maths, right? So in terms of this scenario, I think it all comes down to whether Joker can hit his super onto any of these. If Semantic gets a good super as well, he's definitely going to wait. I mean, hit super is deadly when you combine it with anyone. It's not really the best with Sprout. Sprout lacks DPS to like get the kill really fast. So I'm not too sure how this final scenario is going to go. Joker's got his super ready. He's going to use it on Semantic. Nothing really Semantic can do other than try and hide behind a wall. Joker's just going to keep positioning here. Not allow Semantic to push up. And that's going to be the win. SK are playing this so smooth. So smooth. They didn't drop a single set, by the way, yet. They 3-0 Totem, which was supposed to be like the new El Clasico. You say it like we had Chaos, Maori, and Moru literally facing off against former teammates it was a banger but 3-0 that was a clean sweep but then they're 3-0'd bc gaming as well so sk are looking very hot you know i thought this roster was going to be amazing but in the fashion they're doing it wow that is such good team coordination they're playing it perfectly joker is him today so many good plays and that's going to be humble losing the first set surely yeah, there's no way they can do anything against that i guess the double shook down against kit probably should have had well that just should have been the writing on the wall so sk played that perfectly i guess that was an outdraft on their side of things i just didn't see it let's jump into the next set all right guys jumping into set number two then we have surely this is new horizons what was the map just then i don't even know what the map is going to be i was looking at my phone but i guess we'll see once we go in so i'm guessing it's a long range map because we have nanny in play we've got um charlie and bell colt i'm gonna guess it's safe zone maybe Surely this is a safe zone composition. Amber as well. I mean, it could be bridged too far as well. It's definitely... This is giving heist, surely. I'm Piper. This is giving long range. It's giving heist. It's maybe giving... But yeah, it's bridged too far. There we go. So in terms of compositions then, I would I would still say that Humble have the composition, surely. We've got Nanny versus Piper. We've got Colt versus Charlie. And we have Amber versus who? If we put Amber on Charlie as well, that's going to be an even better matchup. I don't know, I feel like the damage should definitely rain down easier for Humble. But then again, SK can still win it. I don't think it's like a complete outdraft draft by either team. It's really hard to outdraft opponents on Bridge Jafar, I believe. But maybe uh, Charlie wasn't really the play. But it looks like Luki's going to go in here. The good thing is that Luki literally is one of the best nannies in the world. If you've not seen it already, he posts a lot on TikTok. Uh, he started to uh, do a lot more content, but he pushed like a 2,200 nanny, something insane. So he's known for one of the best nannies in the world for sure. If you guys don't know already, boss as well, getting some clips in. They're all quite a bit down in terms of percentages so far. I guess they can just keep up the pressure. SK, good kill on Semantic. They definitely need to swap the matchups as much as possible. Like, they can't keep putting the Amber on Bell. Bell has such a good matchup into Amber. After saying that, Semantic gets the kill. But we need to turn these kills into more offense. It's been a minute and a half. Not really much done on the offensive side of things. Again, they're swapping matchups, which I guess are just trying to get Luke in a better position to deal damage. I don't really know. Lenane with an insane hype charge there. He's able to win his lane as well. Joker's winning his lane against Colt. Of course he is. And that's pretty much... I don't know. I mean, they didn't really rain too much damage down. They just need one push. Humboldt need one push. We see as well that Luki is using Return to Sender against Piper, which kind of is big brain. But at the same time, how is Nani going to go up and deal damage? That's kind of the point of Nani and Heist, really, is to use a TP gadget. So I'm not too sure how to feel like that. Like, is that big brain? Or is that just kind of shooting yourself in the foot using Return to Sender? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. SK at the minute are just... I don't know. They're just skill different at the moment. They're just playing absolutely insane. I don't think I've ever seen these players play so good. Like, they're actually just playing flawlessly at the moment. 20 seconds left. It's looking near impossible. Yoshi with a max range super. That's going to be a kill on boss as well. And yeah, that is just flawless gameplay from SK so far. The, the teamwork is just insane. It's the first time I've seen this roster. Especially this type of roster. It's quite spicy, right? We've got two really aggressive players with Lana and Joker. You know, Yoshi can play aggressive brawlers as well. All of these brawlers can play. Uh, all of these guys can play every type of brawler. So that's why this roster is, I don't know, kind of underrated by the majority, I would say. You know, Joker as well, he has the brains. You think of um, Foot for last year, we had Semantic and Drage. You know, that, they were typically like the drafting brains. But then Lana, he was the carry, essentially. So in this team, you know, Joker, I mean, all three of them are the carry. So that's why SK is so good. But Joker's the drafter. He's got the brains. And 
yeah, that's just how our SK Gaming go. Let me know what you think of the new SK Gaming um, roster. If you're, if you're new, I mean, these guys have just been around the scene for the longest time, but like Joker was like rookie of the year. Lana is just Lana. He's like the EU GOAT, but he always kind of falls short on the big stage. So I'm hoping this year is a big year for him. Anyways, enough waffling. A great start still from SK. Again, every time Sender's not really doing too much, Joker's still popping off. Like, Piper still has really good matchups into all of these, and even if Return to Sender is going to be a problem, I just, I don't know, like, the damage output from Piper is just way more consistent. Like, he's just running in consistently. Yoshi again getting more chip damage, and still the damage is going the way of SK. They need to just run away from the battle. Like, no one is defeating Lana on lane on battle. On battle. <laughs> this guy is clapping. Finally, some more damage coming in from Humble. I, I think with Bridge to Far, there are some, like, secret strategy strategies that can happen. A lot of times you can just kind of ignore a lane that doesn't have a lot of damage. That's why Klet isn't really the best on this map. You see, like, Klet isn't even drafted or banned. Because a lot of times with Klet, you can just kind of avoid her. R like, run the other lane and just go into a base race. This is exactly what I wanted to see from Humble this time around. They need to turn it into a base race, deal a lot of damage. Semantic and Boss are going ham on this left-hand side. That was all to do with Semantic's pressure. That was beautiful. There we go. I feel like... The pressure might have got to them a little bit. They were starting to make mistakes. They weren't really playing to their usual standard. If you don't know about Humble as well, like Boss and Luki are really underrated players. They've always been like the, the shining light on their teams throughout uh, many seasons, but never really kind of made it to like the S tier of competitive. But of course, Semantic, he is that guy. He is that guy. He's probably the best in terms of brawler knowledge and like little intricacies with the game Smantic knows it all i've teamed with a guy he's absolutely insane and if you watch his twitch streams as well he's insane with that sort of stuff but this team together you know people many people didn't expect it but in scrims they have like the best win rate they're looking really hot in scrims it's just whether they can correlate that into actual gameplay but uh so far it's not really looking the best but again the good thing about their composition i said it in the first round is that here we go this is exactly what i'm talking about is that they start to switch lane but they need to go fast because now lana is wrapping all the way around and they're kind of just they're all kind of focused up together they're lumped up a bit too much and unfortunately we weren't able to really make use of the strategy because joker is just absolutely tapping again they're going to try and avoid lana as much as possible which is definitely the way to go but still, the, the safe is getting trickled down eventually. That's an important kill from Luki. Now Semantic can start the pressure here, getting some good damage onto his safe. I mean, it's not really the most damage. It's just one super on the safe. Lana is still slowly chipping around the safe. I can just understand. I know his frustration right here. It's like, bro, he's clapping so hard that people just have to avoid him. But then again, it is Bell. You can avoid Bell on heist. Luki getting a really clutch kill here. And now it's Colt and Nani on the safe. This is what I'm talking about. One attack. And they're already just getting so much damage on the safe. That's a good super from Luki, but at the same time, not really solidifying much damage. And there's like 20% left in it now. Humble will need to play this perfectly, but I guess SK can just go in here and finish the game off. Yeah, that's, that's GG's right there. SK game in two sets to zero. They're looking flawless. This is the type of roster I wanted to see. When everyone saw this roster announced, we were like, holy, this is... This has got the stars and this has got potential and they're really fulfilling it. They haven't dropped a single set. So jumping into set number three, we already have a match point for SK Gaming. If they can clean sweep through EMEA, that sets a serious statement for the year. Like, that's crazy. I don't think I've ever really seen that in EMEA for years now, literally years, even with Zeta. So we've got a Sandy first pick from SK Gaming on center stage, which is... Um, pretty standard i would say i've not really played too much center stage and rank so i'm interested to see what the pros really go okay jesse and buster no buster is a insane pick in competitive right now buster's one of the most picked brawlers in scrims ash okay ash i guess ash is okay into buster and a surge okay this draft i would say is a little bit out of the usual to what i normally see and a jackie okay i mean I'm all for it. Jackie's a good counter to Sandy. I think with the recent broadcasting, they kind of skip through the draft really fast now, which I don't really like. I like talking about the draft. That's a big point to um, competitive, and I kind of skip through it, so I don't, I don't really like that about it. Okay, that's a good pull from Semantic. So the reason why Buster's so good in this meta, just look at the map. Literally, his shield just covers the entire lane so if you can group up with your teammates and then push forward you can essentially just gain control literally brute force your way up 
the map with your super. So that's why he's like good on knockout on some knockout maps. He's good on like Bell's Rock. You've seen him a lot more. Are the pros overrating him though? I'm not really seeing the biggest win rate with him right now. I don't believe in um this current monthly final. But Surge jumping in here. Lynette with the goal. And that's going to be first uh, interaction going straight away for SK. So the Jackie pick isn't really working out too much right now. Sandy's getting so much value. Like I always say, like Jackie is a good counter to Sandy and just double tank is good into Sandy sometimes. But at the same time, look, he just has infinite supers. And the thing about Sandy is the whole super covers the entire grass. So it forces you to go out the grass. You're literally, you've literally got control of, I don't know, eight tenths. Well, yeah, literally eight tenths of the map. Like, look how forced back they are. They're literally behind that little bit of a wall. And there's nothing they can really do. Joker already on his fourth level. We've got Lana just pushing it in. There's nothing that they can do. And that's already going to be set point and match point for SK Gamer. This is just looking crazy. I think Humble's mood just must be gone at this point in time. SK just playing everything perfectly. It's just like everything they've put into practice is just working out to a T, which is massive. Especially now as well. If you guys don't know about the Brawl Esports world, there's only five monthly finals this year. So every single monthly finals matters even more so than ever in terms of seeding for future events and whatever else. Okay, that is much better from Humble. I think they were too passive in the first engagement. And that is perfect. Literally, they needed to make some adjustments and that they did. The reason why they were like, being too passive is bad is because you start to let all of the Brawlers ramp up. You know, with Sandy, you let him ramp up with Supers. Surge let him ramp up Ash as well. Semantic messes that up a little bit. I don't know whether he could have got that in time. It was close, but I feel like he could have got that. He really could have. That could have been the set equalized. So one pick that I'm not really seeing too much value with right now is Jessie. She's kind of struggling with just so many brothers just run into her really easily on this map. But a good takedown from Semantic there. But the problem is Sandy's getting so much value being able to pierce through both of these. I think Sandy's like one shot of super now. Joker's already got his third level as well. Yoshi's going to push in. And the double stun as well. He's getting so much value with Sandy. It's insane. And this is looking like an SK goal. Can we get Semantic down in time? Joker's going to go down. I mean, Luke is going to go down. Just boss left. But Jackie's super is hard to get by. Are we not really going to push it? No. Okay, that's quite clever, you know. We're not overextending. We're not trying to force the goal. We're going to keep positioning. Not too sure whether it's going to work out in the long run. But at the same time, if they would like to go in against boss there with the hypercharged Jackie Super and a couple of them went down, then they would literally have lost all control of the map. So I guess that was okay. I don't know. Maybe you should have just gone for it in the long run. I guess hindsight, they should have gone for it. But I don't know. I kind of like that because... Teams often make the uh, big mistake of overextending a lot of time. But now we have a Sandy Super just to gain control completely. Like, Sandy's good in the meta, but I think there aren't really many good Sandy maps. So that's why you don't really see him too often in competitive. But when there is a good Sandy map, he still dominates. He's still so quick to um, cycle through Supers. So Boss with a really good double Super there gets a lot of pressure back. So Jackie, we've not really been seeing Jackie too much in the meta as well recently. But I think, again... I can write setting. His hype charge is still pretty good. 20 seconds left with full control of the bushes. I don't think SK have really got anything in them this time around to um, to win this one. So, yeah, that's going to be a humble win. And that's more like it from humble. I'm hoping it's not a clean sweep because I like to commentate over as much Brew Stars as possible. But the thing is, like, Humble have last pick. If you guys don't know as well, I think last pick is by far the best option right now. The st st statistics might not back it up. But just being able to look at the entire enemy composition and then try, you know, there's 77, 78 brawlers in the game right now. You know, surely there's a brawler out there that can counter at least two of the enemy composition. That's why I just love late picks. Semantic with some really good aggressive play here. I think it's a little bit too weak to go for the goal, but that's a good kill from Boss. He's going to walk in here. Just Yoshi left on defense. And wow, Humble able to get the first goal again. So that is beautiful. That's exactly what they probably were hope hoping for with this composition. Obviously... That last pick, Jackie, really did work out in their favor. So we're going with a double pinch here. It's kind of hard to spot where they are. Lynette with a really good sneak through there. I, I, I wouldn't have expected that. Luki definitely didn't expect Lana to be in that position. Gets the kill there as well. I'm not noticing Ash too much. I mean, he's doing a decent job. But at the same time, like, is Ash... Was Ash really the play? I guess it could have gone a different tank. The good thing about Ash, though, is that... He can at least beat some of his counters. That's why Ash used to be so meta. 
is because once he gets his super, he can then counter his counters. That's why he was just so good. And that's why he was abused so much by the NA pros, because they just... They knew the power of Ash. And with his recent buff, I think he's a little bit underrated. Anyways, enough waffling. What is going on right now? This is EU in its prime. There's just so much patience with EU, EU gameplay. Sometimes it can be a little bit cringe to watch, but I guess with so much on the line, that's just how it be. But that's going to be a triple takedown for Humble, and then SK should be able to score this one. A little bit unsure about that, but he can still score there. I think it was a bit of a, a mix-up. I think Lana came a little bit too far back, and that allowed Jackie enough time to get up the map, but he scored anyway. It didn't really matter in the end. Now SK have full control. Sandy Super as well. Boss is pretty weak. This is looking really good for SK. Yoshi's going to get pulled it in, but it doesn't matter too much. Now Joker's just going to jump in up to Semantic. Now only Boss left with a hypercharged Super. He does fantastically there. Wow! That was a clutch play. Like, I know Jackie's a brain-dead brawler, but that was a 3v1 scenario. To get into that position and defend like that, it looked pretty much over for Humble and now it's the exact opposite. Now they've got a uh, map control. They've got a Jesse hypercharge here. Not too sure about that runner gun play, but at the same time, all the pressure here is for SK. Joker has to make a play here just because of the positioning from Humble. They can probably get like an easy score if they keep uh, control of the grass. They still got a hypercharge turret, but I think Lana's just going to manage to take that down. He just gotta, he's got to get pinched so quickly there. And now in terms of overtime, I don't know what composition's better i think surely sandy comps better but then they don't really have the dps here in overtime we've got a jackie super here they need to push up as soon as possible they need a sandy super asap to get even more control they're pushing back here okay sandy super is here but semantic's just going to use his brute hp to push forward boss really weak semantic really weak they really need to get the goal right here all members down and that's sk on the attack surely this is going to be a goal they might hold out for it though i think he's got enough time to slot that into the corner and he has SK Gaming clean sweep the entire composition. You love to see it. Literally, like, goosebumps on the back of my neck because seeing these guys live is insane. You love this. Like, I love the facilities that Totem and SK have. I hope to see that more in Brawl Stars. They really take the game seriously and take esports seriously. So, big props to SK Gaming. It looks like they're back finally after some troublesome years, I would say. Like, they're always in and around the top. But it was definitely a slow start to SK Gaming last season. You know, it looked like they might not even make LCQ or even make World Finals. They made World Finals, but now they're starting the year hot. Yoshi's starting the year hot, and that must be so relieving for them. So, that's going to be it for today's video. A little bit of a shorter one. I was anticipating maybe like a 3-1, 3-2 to SK, but SK clean sweep the competition. Fair play to them, but that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.